smell the sea and feel the sky. Let your soul and spirit fly. Van Marson. We head down to Alabaster Bay, which is a quick trip from Hatchet Bay. We have read and seen so many videos about this anchorage and are excited to get our first glimpse in person. It's a beautiful area. And a Luther website describes it this way. Alabaster Beach is a quintessential Caribbean beach. The shallow sandy beach extends for almost an entire mile and is perfect for wading, swimming, and shelling. The beach is typically very calm and the shallow water makes it an excellent beach for children. It's also known as Receiver's Beach. Just find a place to park, head to the beach. After dropping the anchor and settling into these calm waters, we took the paddle boards out to explore and check out the beach. A resort known as Coco de Mamas is located in the bay, but seemed to be closed, although well kept. Looked like a beautiful spot for a wedding. The bar was not open, so no offshore drinks for us this stop, but we did do some shelling and find the starfish on the beach. Now it's time to watch the sun go down and plan tomorrow. So we're in this beautiful anchorage, Alabaster Bay, just north of Governor's Harbor in Eleuthera. And it is so pretty here. And we keep trying to figure out how to fly the drone, but we are kind of close to an airport and it is not real happy about us doing that. So we're not sure we're going to get pictures, which we're real disappointed about because it's so pretty here. The blue water, the beaches. So I'm just going to take a little video this way. And um, tomorrow we're going to get in Shelby and take some pictures of the boat in the water, go around her anyway, cause it's just so pretty here. We really wanted some overhead shots to show everybody how pretty it was, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. We just had some dinner and we are waiting on the sun to go down. And we're gonna try to do two days here. Figure out how to go and um, over and see the Navy base, to, old Navy base tomorrow and the Atlantic Beach, which is supposed to be beautiful on the other side of here. So we're going to take a little three-mile hike. I think it's a mile and a half each way, if I understand correctly. And we're just tucked in here. We came from up there. About 10 miles. It was exactly 11 miles we came out of Hatchet Bay down to here today. So it's about an hour and 45 minutes. some snorkeling now just enjoying dinner and the sun going down the next morning we set out to the abandoned navy base across from the bay on the atlantic side and to get our first peek at some pink sand like it might have been the gate yeah one time Sailboat story. Twice. <laughs> yep. New and old sticker. <laughs> In 1950, the U.S. began building a naval base on Eleuthera as a sound surveillance system to track Soviet submarines. 
A few years later, the base was greatly expanded, and it became part of the Air Force Missile Test Center Atlantic Missile Range. In coordination with 11 other stations around the Caribbean, they were responsible for long-range monitoring of rocket and guided missile launches for the Air Force, Army, and Navy. In 1980, it was officially decommissioned and abandoned. Now all that remains is the abandoned buildings and overgrown vegetation. Inside the base, a road takes you down to a beautiful, unspoiled beach. Yes, there is a pink tent, but not what you expect or see photoshopped online. How does the sand get pink? The sand gets its hue from thousands of broken coral pieces, shells, and calcium carbonate materials left behind by the tiny marine creatures with red and pink shells that live in the coral reefs that surround the beaches. Now it's time for Journey's photo shoot. A selfie on the beach and a rescued conch end our exploration on the beach. Now check Journey out in this beautiful clear water. The water will just get better as we continue this journey through the Bahamas. Just as we got back from snorkeling, a ray cruised by us. Although we missed him in the water, we did capture this from Journey. Now it's time for the sun to set. We'll be heading out to Rock Sound tomorrow to visit the ocean hole and more wind is coming. <laughs>